So we can say analog. So all the great moments in analog recording studio history, I think, have come from people just saying, well, what happens if I do this? Well, that sounds totally brilliant. Or crap, depending on what you want it. You know, where I live, I get amazing sunset. So suddenly the whole room goes pinky orange. And it really affects what you're doing at the time. It feels quite emotionally charged. It has quite a profound impact on what you're doing. The quest for an interesting space to put your studio in is a very long one. But I'm looking for something quite specific, something that has some character and some history to it. Something with high ceilings, something detached, something with natural light. Something about analog gear, there's very few screens involved, so you end up having listening a lot more. There's something great about being able to just touch something. The tools have a profound impact. There's so much personality and character in this device that encourages you to, ironically, to be an individual yourself. You do feel like you're interacting with, with all sorts of eccentric people. You know, whether it be Doug Fern over here or George Massenberg with the EQ, which is a sort of super precise parametric EQ. Or you've got API, which is much more like, okay guys, let's go to work, you know, like. You do feel the personality of the people that made it and the decisions that they make. So much of the kind of the way music is made with laptops is a weird, very crushed version of what analog actually is. Any program now, and you can have a, a basically a fully finished functioning piece of music in probably under two and a half minutes. It's completely shrunk that, that window of creation to, so, to something so brief now. It could all be bollocks in the sense that it just could be assumptions that we've made over the last 100 years of recorded music, that that's become our preference. But there's certainly a sort of a gluiness and a warmth that you just I just don't find it in digital. Things happen so quickly that there isn't really part of the process for thinking about why am I doing this? Or what's the end result? Or why should there be any more music in the world? Is the world a better place because of this? Thank you.